God! Oh, God! Oh, oh thank God! So desperately wicked. Whoever that drunk this baby at the gates didn't even go and kiss anything should happen to her. God takes care of his own. Well, you found her. You will take care of her. <laughs> Give her a warm bath and get a bed made for her and make sure you put some milk in her system. Yes, mother. Uh, fill out the necessary papers for the police and I'll sign them later. And make sure you get in touch with the doctor and he takes a good look at her. Oh, welcome to our world. Welcome to the world. <laughs> She should be. They let her have a gate until this morning. <laughs> well, you found her. You have the right to name her. So yes. What are you going to call her? <laughs> um, um, <laughs> Abbe Maria. <laughs> My name's sick doing? Shh, not so loud. I'm trying to make her sleep. I heard there are a couple of people making inquiries about baby girls. Are you not putting Ave Maria up for adoption? No way. I'm thinking of asking for permission from Mother Superior to keep her here forever. She's too beautiful for me to let go. I bet you're feeling like a mother. 
I don't know what it feels like to be a mother, but I sure do know that I'm getting attached to this one. You better don't get too attached before you feel like renouncing your vows and becoming a full-time housewife. <laughs> Maybe a full-time mother. You must be out of your mind. I sent for you because I want to talk to you about Ave Maria. There has been a fervent request by a well-to-do Christian family for a baby girl. We're thinking of putting Ave Maria up for adoption. I know how attached you are to the child. But let's be a bit reasonable about this. Ave Maria is not the only child in this orphanage. Our duty is to take care of all of them and love them equally. And that duty includes placing them in good homes homes that will give them a head start in life. I know, Mother Superior. But Ave Maria is not ready to go to any home. She wants to stay here with me. Sister Teresa, Ave Maria is not old enough to make any decision on her own. It is beholden on us to make the right decision for her. I'm only telling you because she was placed in your care and you have a right to know. Thank you, Mother Superior. Fire be it that I should be headstrong. I have been taking care of Ave Maria all this while. And I know that she's too young to be taken away from here. Secondly, I have this motherly instinct that she will not be able to cope anywhere else. <laughs> Sister Teresa, you are not a mother. We are not mothers. We're caretakers. Ave Maria will do very well anywhere we place her. If you feel so strongly about it, we'll keep Ave Maria here for a while. Oh, thank you, Mother Superior. Thank you. Will that be all? Thank you, Mother Superior. Support of this. You have allowed yourself to get carried away by how you feel for Avi. Avi. Do you blame me? I do not. But how long are you going to take care of her like this? Other babies are going to come in. How are you going to cope? 
the same way I've been coping. I mean, just look at her. How will she cope anywhere else? And what if we end up putting her in the wrong home? Sister Teresa, those questions are not meant for us to ask. All we need to do is to pray for her. Well, I guess you're right, but I just, I just wish they would let her stay longer. <laughs> I'll have to go and put her to sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, point at anyone you want me to read. That one. Okay, so we'll start from here. As Jesus and his disciples went on their way, um, he That's came what to we a pray aim for a healthy and a happy one, born with no misery. out what's wrong with this child. What is the problem? 
Ave Maria, you know if you do not tell me, I can't help you. The teacher said I should find out the people that make up a family. If not, she'll beat me in school tomorrow. Is that all? <laughs> not to worry. I'll tell you. A family is made up of a father. Who is the head of the house? A mother and the children. Like here now, our Father is God Almighty who made heaven and earth. We are the children and Mother Superior is our mother because she takes care of us all. But you're the one who takes care of me. You're my mother. <laughs> I know, Ave. Okay, well, so I am the mother and Mother Superior is um, the grandmother. Is that settled? Yes, mom. <laughs> okay, now you will change and come help mommy in the kitchen. Mm? Okay, darling. <laughs> know what the rules say, sister. Each child in this home deserves attention from each and every one of us in equal measure. We cannot afford to give special attention to one child at the detriment of the others. These children have fragile psyches. When these children notice the special at at attachment that Ave Maria has for you, it may affect them negatively when they do not receive the same attention from you. Mother, my relationship with Ave Maria has never affected how I relate with the other children. I love them equally. You cannot tell, Sister Teresa. It is only those of us from the outside looking in that can tell you. <laughs> The child calls me mother. What am I to do? Maybe I'm so attached to her because I was the one who picked her up. And mother, please do remember that you handed her over to me to take care of right from the beginning. To be sincere. I, I love her and I don't want to lose her. I told you, take care of her. I didn't want you imagining that you are her mother because you are not. Do not lead this child down the path of deceit. I think Sister Teresa means well, Mother. If Ave Maria prefers staying with her than playing with other children, it should be all right. Uh, please, Mother, I will plead that you still allow her stay for the time being. Getting her out of here now, at this stage of her life, will only disrupt her development. <sighs> All right. Thank you, Mother Sabir. I'll think about it. Thank you, Mother Sabir. All right, class. We'll continue from where we stopped yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Abi Maria, do you now have the answer? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I thought you said you have the answer. Yes, ma'am. Answer me. Who makes up your family? My family is made up of God, who is my father, Sister Teresa, who is my mother, and Mother Spirit, who is my grandmother. Ah! Next, I will expect that you will tell me that the book is your grandfather. Come out here. Come out here! For time to be cheating with me, you need that corner. Oh, yeah. Raise your hands. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Alright, class. Since Ave Maria does not know the answer, I will tell you. A family is made up of a father, 
a mother, children, grandfathers, grandmothers, if they are still alive. Live. Going? I don't know what is wrong with that girl. She has not touched her food. She's a clean little bit. Abe, what's wrong? Can you tell me what the matter is with you? <clears throat> you told me that our family is made up of God, Mother Superior, you and me. I told the teacher and she punished me. Oh. Is that why you refuse to eat your food? Oh, stop crying, dear. Maria. Now, listen to me, and don't you ever forget what I'm about to say. Your teacher does not live here with us, so she does not know your family. The children here are your brothers and sisters. We are your family. So whatever you become, or wherever you find yourself, don't you ever forget that. Mm -hmm. Now stop crying. Mm -hmm. Come, come, come. come. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll go and finish our food, right? Celebrating. Oh, Ave Maria just passed her common entrance exam. Really? <laughs> oh, Ave. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Her so is is excellent. I'd like to see yourself and Ave Maria in my office. Yes, Mother Superior. So come on. Please take care of the baby. Hmm? Ave, let's go. I did say that um, we would stay all decisions on Ave Maria until the time is right. Well, the time is right. 
the girl will soon go into secondary school once she passes her exams. Oh, I was coming to show you this. She passed her exams. Oh, this is good, Ave Maria. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. Well, this means she cannot stay with us any longer. These are Mr. and uh, Mrs. Oyebuchi. They have come to ask for a young girl of Ave Maria's age to look after their baby and also become one of the family. With all due respect, ma Mother, I think Ave Maria is too intelligent to be turned into just another house help. Uh, sister, can I point out something here? Uh, nobody is going to turn her into a house help. She's going to be a part of the family. The mother spirit has told us about her very well behaved girl. And that kind of girl needs a family to grow in. But sir, I have a family. All the people around me here are my family. All the children are my brothers and sisters. And I'll never forget them. Mother Superior, I want to stay. I cannot go anywhere else. I'll go to school from here. I'll walk. I'll help the sisters take care of the other children. After all, they're my brothers and sisters. Mother, please. Sister Teresa? Yes, Mother Yes, Mother Superior. I want to talk to you about Ave Maria. Yes, Mother Superior. What on earth? do you think we're doing in this orphanage? Teresa, it's a cruel world out there. We cannot replace these children's real parents. You cannot replace Ave Maria's real mother. All we can do is prepare them for the real world. And that is what you are failing to do with Ave Maria. She cannot stay here forever. I, I know that, Mother Superior. But for now, Ave Maria is not ready to go anywhere. And how do you intend to support her? Pay her school fees? I have been thinking about it for a while now. I can take a cut off my allowance. Uh, that will help. Even in your naivety, you should know that your entire allowance does not pay Ave Maria school fees for one term. I could take up working in my spare time to supplement. What work? I can start coaching students. Please, Mother Superior, let Ave Maria stay. Please. All right. If that's the way you want it. But you must carry the burden all on your own. Thank you, Mother Superior. It 
says Ave Maria J here. Yeah. What is your full song? Uh, uh, I don't understand this. Uh, what is your father's name? Young woman, what is your father's name? We don't have all day. You want to tell me you don't know your father's name? Now, take this. Go and bring your parents. Then we'll know if you are fit to be registered into the school or not. Out of my office. the matter? It has to do with Ave Maria's surname. You know we've never really given her one. Her principal asked her for her surname today at school and she didn't know what to say so they sent her out of the school. I wanted to come and find out if it is right for us to give her a surname and what that should be. Though I had already told her that her surname is Jesus. Oh, Sister Teresa, that is rather presumptuous of you. You don't have the right to give our Lord's name to whomsoever you desire. But, be that as it may, I, uh, I remember telling you that Ave Maria is old enough to run her own affairs. She's the only one of that age that we have left in this orphanage. Let her choose her surname. We can only do that which the good Lord has called us to do. That is all. But if she could give herself a surname, then she wouldn't have had to come to me to ask me. 
Be besides, I, I think... Let this be the last I hear of this. If you have decided to disobey instructions and run Ave Maria's life, then be prepared to bear whatever consequences arise from it. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ave Maria came crying yesterday that you sent her back to bring her parents. And our mother superior sent us here to find out what the problem is. Sister, I don't think that's a problem. It's just that uh, she doesn't know her father's name. Where are her parents? I am her mother. We are from the Holy Child Orphanage. I don't understand you, sister. Ave Maria is an orphan. She lives with us at the orphanage. I see. I see. Okay, be that as it may. I have to register her with a name. So, what name do I use? Jesus. Ave Maria Jesus. Is there anything wrong with that? No, no, no. Not really. Oh. After all, it's only a name. I'm the best name in heaven and on earth. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. If you want me to register with that, I'll do that for you. Oh, please do. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Ave, what's the matter with you? Nothing, What exactly does it mean to be an orphan? Um... Why do you ask? You told the principal that I'm an orphan. Well, Ave, you needed um, a surname, so I had to tell him that you do not have um, a father. Why is it that I don't have a father? You are keeping quiet. Um, Ave, I wish I had all the answers to all the questions you love to ask. But I don't. Um, an orphan is one without a biological parents. And, um, but <laughs> that's irrelevant because um, no child of God is an orphan. Hmm? Tell me what else happened in school today. Hmm? Yes. Are you a new student? Yes. I'm in form too. You want to be friends? Who was that you kissed? My dad, of course. What's the matter? I've never kissed my dad before. Why? I've never oh, seen father. him. You have never seen your father? I don't know. Maybe when I was small, something. I don't know. What of your mom? Sister Teresa. Sister? You call your mother sister? Yes, that's what she is. I've known her as my mother. That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. Come, let's go.
Вот. This is where I live. This is my home. But this is an orphanage. We live here. Yeah. I don't know, but I have a mother, brothers and sisters. Let's go inside and tell you. bringing her. Huh? How many people sleep here, sister? Well, about 15 people. Jesus Christ. And I have a room that is bigger than this place, all to myself. Well, have you heard this phrase before? Um, that different strokes for different folks. Yes. Life is not a fair place. To some, it is cruel. To others, it's um, sadness and joy, sweets and bitter, and so on and so forth. Is there any way I can help? <laughs> we manage well enough, thank you. Where are all the others? I mean, the children. Oh, the older ones are at school and the younger ones are in the nursery. Sister, can Abby Maria come and spend the weekend in our house? Well, if she gets better, you can ask her. If she says yes, well, that's fine by me. What is it? Having Maria said that you are a mother. How come? Because I know that Reverend sisters are not supposed to bear children. But are you really a mother? <laughs> My child, there are things we are not given to understand. But if you are so curious, I will tell you. It is not always the woman that gives birth to a child physically, that is the child's mother. Rather, the person God Almighty has chosen to take care of the child. Do you understand? No. But does that mean that Abby Maria has another mother? No. <laughs> um, well, uh, the most important thing is that God has decided that I should be Ave Maria's mother. So, I am Ave Maria's mom. <laughs> Is that okay, Cynthia? For well, now. All right, Cynthia, whatever. <laughs> well done. Go get your bag and uh, let me see you to the car. Hmm? <clears throat> This place is big. 
I do see that it was only you and your parents that stay here. Yes. Then how do you manage to sleep in all the rooms? Don't be silly. Come on. Come, let's go and meet my parents. Cynthia, take her to your room, okay? That will make you happy. You're welcome, my dear. Uh, you tell the cook to prepare food for you. Yes, mommy. <laughs> this is your daughter. Mm. Cynthia, you have not chosen where you should spend your holidays this year. I've not gone to Paris before. You promised to take me there last year, but you didn't. Okay. I will take you this year if and only if you come tops in your class. But you know I will always come tops. But you did not last time. You didn't. Hey, if I come tops this year, will you also allow me to bring Abbe Maria? Yes, on the condition that she too comes Pops in her class. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so with first position. Okay? Shut up. Hold on. Am I fancy? Okay, let me. Simply think I'm not even clear. I don't have anybody. I don't have anybody to love or to care for me. Like your parents love you. Is that why you're crying? But you know that is not true. You have Sister Teresa, Mother Superior, Sister Maria, and all the other sisters. And the children, you have more than I have. You can't have everything. You know, sometimes I wish I had a brother or a sister. I could give anything for one. Maybe one day you get one. I can't buy it, can I? No matter how much money daddy has, he can't buy that for me. your friend has is good, but that's not where you are from. You come from this orphanage, which is not a bad place. You know that there are people out there who do not have where to lay their heads. They don't even know where they come from. But you are from here. 
And you should never forget that. But mommy, who am I an orphan? Ave. Nobody who has God is an orphan. You're a child of God. God loves you. And that's all that matters. But mommy, I don't have any father. What do that children in school do? Ave dear. You have what they do not have. You know what that is? What? You have God's love. Mommy, Sita said I'm now her sister and I'm going to travel with her. Oh, um, <laughs> that is good. But you'll have to think about it. We'll have to inform Mother Superior. But all the same, now run along, go and help Chioma and the rest to clean the hall. Eh? Open that you did him out again, I'll beat you off. Orphan. What did you just call her now, eh? Now tell me, what did you call her? Orphan. Is she not the one that they picked from the gutter? Does that make you better than her? I'll beat you. Come on, get out of this. Catch you. Don't cry. Don't mind them. They are just insensitive. So. I can bet my life you're waiting for a taxi. Now listen, that cab you're going to board might be um, rickety and smelling. You can't tell this beautiful dress you're putting on. Hey, come on. <laughs> I will take you to wherever you want to go to without collecting a cover from you. Shall we? Okay. You see, I... I was actually um, dashing out of the office to see if I could uh, catch up with you. Why? <laughs> Strange. These things um, take time to figure out, you know. I see beautiful girls at the office almost every day. But um, there's something about it. You're different. You are, um, how would I put it? You are natural, pure, intelligent. You are, you see? Listen, Mike. If you are looking for a girl to drag into bed, I am sorry you are making a very big mistake because I am not interested in such things. Excuse me. What? Hey. Ah, that was an insult. I do not deserve such insult from you. I resent it. Okay, I'm sorry. But what do you want me to say? Okay, I understand. I do not uh, really see you in that manner. It's just that uh, I wanted to ask if I could take you out once in a while and talk. Maybe we could um, get to know each other better. And mind you, sex shouldn't be what should be on every responsible man's mind all the time. Um, can I come take you out once in a while? We'll see. Okay. Can I now drop you off? After you. Lunch.
Yeah. Your hope. Yes, um, thank you for a wonderful evening. Ah, uh, no, I should be the one saying thank you. It was a pleasure going out with you. Thank you. Thank you. So, you said you were traveling? Yes, in a few days' time. I want to go and see my brothers and sisters. You know, since I started work, I've not been able to see them. When are you coming back? In a few days' time. Uh, maybe um, I should go with you. That will give me an opportunity of meeting your parents and also seeing your brothers and sisters as well. Um, don't worry. You meet them in due course. Good night. I'll be. Yes. Come. There is something I wanted to tell you. But uh, I lack the courage. Yeah, what is it? Don't worry, I'll see you tomorrow. No, please. Go ahead and tell me. Just feel free, whatever it is. Please. Abby. I think I'm falling in love with you. I can't spend the rest of my life without you. I can't. I want you to marry me. Did I say anything wrong? Does that mean yes? I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. doing to yourself. Mommy. Is this the best way to say welcome to your daughter? Remember you've not seen me in two months now. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome, my dear child. <laughs> but look at you. You're all bones. Huh? What have you been doing to yourself? Mommy, you've not changed. Do you blame me? How are you? I am fine. And you? I'm very fine. Uh, it's just that things are happening very fast. It's not something we talk about standing, but you'll be surprised to know that someone is actually asking for your daughter's hand in marriage. Then we have to talk about it. Then come on, let's go and talk about it. <laughs> oh. What is it? I've just been paid. It's my first salary, my first fruit. You taught me that the first harvest I receive is for God. That if the first is holy, the rest of the lump will be made holy. Yes, I did say so. But I am not God. <laughs> Why do you bring it to me? Mother, God will not come down from heaven to take it. You are the God that I know. Mm. Ave Maria. The psalmist say, Thou art God, our God. <laughs> I am not God, and no one can take his place. 
bring every tithe into my house, so that there may be food in my house. This is the house of God. His children stay here. When I was growing up in the orphanage, if no one had given to the orphanage, I wouldn't have had anything to eat. You and the other sisters took care of me in growing up. So I have brought this, not to pay back, but to say thank you so that the other children will have something to eat. Bless you, Happy Maria. Kneel down. Let's pray. Yes, Mother. <sighs> Glory be to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Ever King of glory, Father, I lift up my daughter into your hands because I know that whatever is in your hand is in good hands. Lord, your word says that you will give bread to the eater and you will give seed to the sower. Lord, as she brings her first fruit to you, Father, you will increase the storehouse of her seeds. And Lord, you will give her capacity to give more unto you. Father, she will never lack bread. Father, Lord, you will cause men to favor her. They will give into her bosom good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Lord, all her life will be that of your prosperity. My daughter, your life will be that of abundance. Father, Lord, we thank you. We pray all this in the name of our Lord Christ Jesus. Amen. Bless you, child. You will take this to Mother Superior yourself. Yes, mother. My child, the blessing of the Lord will be upon you. You will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that yielded fruit in a season. Your fruit shall not wither, and whatsoever you do shall prosper. Amen. <laughs> Gave it to mommy, but she said I should give it to you. And I, I've started work. It's my first fruit. I didn't have anywhere else to take it to, so I brought it here so you can use it to help out. Oh, you're a good girl. Thank you, mother. Good Lord will preserve you and bless you and bless the work of your hands all the days of your life. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. And uh, have you had something to eat? No, but Mommy is fixing something for me. Okay. Run along. Thank you, Mother.
Cynthia, before I left the office the other day, he asked me to marry him. He did? Yes. Oh, Heaven Mary, I'm so happy for you. What did you say? I said yes. But Cynthia, I'm so scared. I'm scared of what? He's insisting on meeting my parents. And he said he would do his traditional marriage first before anything else. So, what's there to be scared about in that? Who do I take him to? Cynthia, when you got married, your parents were there for you. I mean, I, you don't understand. I don't even have a village. Is it Mother Superior that will collect my bread fries the traditional way? Ave Maria, you have a degree, you have a good job, and a handsome young man that has asked you to marry him. You achieved all of this living in an orphanage. I think you should develop more confidence in yourself and in God. If it will be any consolation, I'll ask my parents to stand in for you. You think you can do that? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you very much, Cynthia. Thank you very much. See, Michael means the word to me. And I was afraid I was going to lose him if I, tell, if I told him I grew up in an orphanage. Well, I really think you should tell him first before he finds out himself. You should. Don't worry about it. He has asked me to marry him. Now, I do not know where else to turn to. His people are asking to meet my parents. I do not have any parents. Who will I take them to? Okay. Who will I say is my father and my mother at the orphanage? Do I take them as mine? They are not. Daddy, she's always been like a daughter to you. She's been like a sister to me. She needs you. You want to bring them here when they come to ask for your hand in marriage? Yes, sir. But you know it won't be right. Daddy, there's nothing wrong with you standing in as a father. You love her like your own. Now is the time to do something for her, Dad. Is this what this whole board meeting is all about? Yes, ma'am. Honey. There is nothing much to say. When they are ready, let us know so that we know what we can do. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is out of the way. We can move on to other things. Are you sure it's done? Of course it's done. He didn't say anything. My father is the most diplomatic man in the world. He'll never put his thoughts in many words, but I know he's accepted. Don't worry. He's accepted. I know. Come on. What else to do or tell him? But presenting your 
friend's parents as yours is a lie you should never have told. Mommy, what else would I have done? I, I, if I had told him that I don't have any parents for, for his people to see, wouldn't he have turned away? When you love someone, who the person is or where the person comes from does not matter. If Michael really loves you and wants to marry you, his people cannot turn away from you just because you don't have a father and mother. So what do I do? What did Cynthia's father say when you told him of your intention? Um, he said whenever they are ready to come, I should let him know so that he would know what to do. That is no commitment. Not to worry, child. What will be, will be. God's will shall be. Um, sisters, please hang up with it and make sure you separate the colored ones, you know, from the clear ones. So, you know. This place is big. <laughs> Love the compound. Yeah, it's massive, I'm telling you. <laughs> is this uh, where your parents stay? Yeah. I, I thought you said that uh, you came from a poor background. If this is being poor, I don't want to be rich. I want to remain poor. <laughs> this is good. After you. I have to tell you, I'm really sorry. We were delayed. Okay. You didn't come with your husband. Mm -hmm. That's workaholic. He wants to make all the money before he turns 40. <laughs> you must be Michael. We've heard so much about you. Hi. Hi. Uh, Michael, meet my sister, Cynthia. Nice meeting you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. Uh, but uh, you don't look alike one bit. <laughs> anyway, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. fetch home and dad. Thanks. <laughs> that you are interested in my daughter. She's a beautiful woman. Any man who finds her should not let her go. <laughs> I agree with you perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Ave. Cynthia. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Mm. Right. Welcome, man. Thank you. Welcome. Yes, I am. Um, Why did you lie to me? Lie, lie, lie to you. The so-called people you claim are your parents are not your parents. Instead, they are Cynthia's parents. It was that obvious. Even a blind man could see it. Now tell me, why are there none of your pictures on those walls? Tell me. Okay. The so-called brothers and sisters you claim that you had, where are they? You lied to me? I, I didn't lie to you. Michael. Hey, hey, hey. Stop. Please, Ave Maria, please, please. If you say one more word again, I will walk out of your life and never come back, and I don't care how much it hurts me. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's, it's just that I didn't think you would approve where I come from. You, you're all so clean and so traditional. It didn't, it didn't look like you would think anything good of me if I told you. It's okay. Listen, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. Don't I hate lies, okay? Listen, it doesn't matter where you come from, okay? I'm not going to get married to your parents or your village. You are the one that I want to get married to, okay? I do not have a village, Michael. Neither do I have parents. All the people I call my brothers and sisters. We are picked up from the streets, like me. I grew up in an orphanage. I am an orphan. A quarter girl. I still have someone I call my mother. Love, it's okay. Come on. Listen. You are not a gutter girl. And you will never be a gutter girl. You are the most beautiful woman on earth. You are the most enchanting woman I've ever met. You are the angel that I've decided to get married to. You are the angel I would always call a wife. Come. It's okay. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry I shouted at you. I was so scared that I would lose you. I'm so sorry. that I lied to him. Jesus Christ. How? I had no chance but to tell him the truth. No, the pictures gave me away. 
But I apologized and told him the reason why I had to lie to him. God, I was so scared that he was going to call off the whole thing. I still don't know what I would have done. He didn't get angry? Not really. He took everything calmly, but said that I didn't need to have tried to deceive him. Happy, I told you, didn't I? It's always better to let the man you're going to spend the rest of your life with know the truth about you. That way you, you, you avoid headaches in future. You're very lucky. Mike is a very good man. Yes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, You said that if my sins are as red as crimson, that you will make them as white as wool. You said if they be as deep as violet, that you will make them as white as snow. Only if I confess them. Father, I lied to Mike. I ask for your forgiveness. And I pray that you touch him to forgive me. Father, let him not turn away from me. Not because of what the world may say or because of where I come from. Father, you said that those that proceeds from you shall overcome the world. Father, you have made me an overcomer, even more than a conqueror. You said in your word, you said, can a mother forget the child she bore? My mother forgot me. But you said you are a father to the fatherless. You said you will use the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. That you use broken vessels. meant me. Use me to heal people. Like you said that if I call on you, you will answer me. That you will send me help speedily from the sanctuary. Father Lord, this is my hour of need. Please Lord, answer me. For I trust in you. Answer me, Lord, please. Because I, I trust in you. I trust in you, Lord. with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to God and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. It's so easy to find out she's not your child. But um, all that, um, it's irrelevant now. I do not care about where she's from. I also do not care about what she is. 
but I care about people not telling me the truth they're supposed to tell me in order for me to do the things I already want to do. Michael, we are sorry. It was not a lie we told. We've taken a Ave Maria as one of ours. She has no other parents. We are the family that she knows and the family she has adopted. Maybe it was wrong for us to have uh, claimed that we are her natural parents. But what difference does it really make? Well, none whatever. None. I also appreciate uh, what people have done for her because I understand uh, what she must have gone through. I want to also thank you for standing up for her. But I still feel hurt. Um, maybe I should speak up here. Mike, I want to thank you for being so understanding. Anybody else could have walked away. We are very sorry. Ave did that because she was afraid of losing you. Oh, Ave, you really have nothing to fear. Ave, you will never lose me. I will always be here every day of your life. I promise. Where I grew up, the place I still call home. Here I yearned for a father and a mother like other children in school had, but I never got one. But thank God I got what was deeper. I got a family that will love me to the end of time. Come on, meet them. All right. brothers and sisters that I talk about all the time. <laughs> there were others like me, but they've all grown up and left like me. But they come back once in a while to see the flowers. Ave, you came! Hey, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Ave. Yeah, mommy, I know you are curious. 
Mommy, this is Mike, the one I told you about, remember? Oh, he asked to meet my parents, my brothers and sisters. So I brought him. He is asked to marry me. Daughter, Abby. Yes, uh, sister. I mean, mother. Oh, it's okay. She calls me mother too. <laughs> we have been daughter and mother right from the first time I set my eyes on her. She needs love and care. I don't know who you are yet, but I know that Ave is smart enough to make the right choice. <laughs> you take care of my daughter. She's a special girl. Yes, I know. I will take care of her. Okay, well, Ivy, you show him around. We'll fix you something to it. And when I get back, I'll tell you more about Ave. All right, yeah. Is this a money? Let's go. So, let me introduce you to my sisters and brothers. He is the father of the fatherless. Comforter of the orphan, he is the helper of the helpless. He is God Almighty, Jehovah. Put your trust in Him; He'll never fail. A child is born into the world. With no one to take care of her She has no mother No father Oh, she's an orphan She's an orphan mm. Who will take care of her? Papa, I can no longer go and play the bachelor <laughs> I think um, the time has come for me to uh, get married. That's why I've come. You have spoken well, my son. You've made my heart glad by what you've just said. But uh, a good woman does not fall from the trees. Have you seen one or do you want me to tell your mother to look for one? Uh, no, Papa. <laughs> I have seen one. Who is she? Where is she from? Uh, you will soon see her, Papa. Hey, that does not tell me where she's from or who her parents are. Actually, Papa, I don't know who her parents are and I don't know where she's from. Michael, you don't know who her parents are and you don't know where she's from and you want to marry her? Eh? She's an orphan. She grew up in a motherless baby's home. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand. You've looked through the length and breadth of this country. And the one you've seen to marry is the one that was picked from the gutter. Papa, don't put it that way. How else do you want me to put it? To clap for you in your foolishness? Eh? My son comes home and tells me that she, he, he wants to marry somebody that fell from the skies and I'm to break into song and dance, eh? You have not seen Ave Maria. She's a beautiful woman. Will beauty bring food from your kitchen? Will beauty give you in-laws to visit? Papa, you cannot have something against a woman you have obviously not seen. Michael, when do you say you're going back to Lagos? We are not quite finished. No, 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 we are finished. Look, go somewhere and lay your head down and think over all that you've just told me. And if by tomorrow they sound right to you, then we can talk. No, Papa. No. I have seen women who grew up in good and wealthy homes who are still selling their body for money. This is the woman that I want to marry. D did she put herself there? No. Does it matter if she grew up in an orphanage? 
obviously she, 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 didn't, she didn't ask for this. Okay, Papa. If you had a daughter, and that daughter gives birth to a child and throws that child away, yes. God forbid. Eh, eh, Papa, this has got nothing to do with God forbidding it. If that happens, does that mean that that child has no background at all? What makes her different from other children? Was she not conceived by a woman who may be mad? Who may be a leper? She may even be one of those diseased beggars on the streets. Oh, yes. The diseased street beggars on the street, Papa, are born of good parents. The madman walking endlessly on the street might have been born of healthy parents. Even the leper, Papa, might have been born of sound parents. Papa, you have always said that you have a Libra mind. This is the time to show it. This is the time. He wants to get married. He told me, and I thank God, that he has finally found a woman to marry. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. You will, if you know where the girl she wants to marry comes from. Where does she come from? That is the problem. Nowhere. He said she is from an orphanage. That means she does not have a father. She does not have a mother. Where did they pick her from? Ask me, why the how would I know? That is why I am deeply troubled. What will people say if they hear a thing like this? Well, my husband, we are Christians. We cannot condemn what God has made. Yes, we cannot condemn what God has made, but the same God says wisdom is a defense. We have to be very careful here. No way. How's it going to sound that me, Mike, would marry an orphan? But, but, is there anything wrong with being an orphan? Oh yes, everything. Would my parents ask questions if I take her to them? How do I ever start defending her? No way.
she must have uh, grown in a good company. Yeah, very good one. Should I go ahead? actually called you here to let you know some things. You see, Ave Maria is a young girl. She might look matured on the outside, but she's actually a child on the inside. She's an orphan and she's never had a father. So she'll need lots of love from you. And her expectation of you will be different from that of other girls. She will see you as a father she's never had. Therefore, her needs will be more peculiar. I understand, sister. Well, I needed to let you know what you're about to get into. And I hope you're ready. Yes, I'm ready. If that be it, um, the Lord will be with you. And also with you. Thank you. Good day, Mother. Good day, Mama. This is Mike. He has asked Ave to marry him. I brought him here to meet with you. Mike, this is our mother's superior. She's in charge of this orphanage. It's a pleasure, Mom. Good evening. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, you want to marry Ave? She's a good girl, Mom. She is. She is. And this is the first time that someone who grew up in this orphanage is going to get married. So it's a, it's a special thing for us. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I hope it all works out. I have every intention of making it work. I have also told my parents and we have started making preparations. Okay, so whenever your people are ready, let us know so that uh, we can help in whatever way we can. Thank you very much, Mom. <laughs> You're welcome. You're most welcome. Thank you, Mother Spirit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mark. Very soon you will have little kids running around the whole place calling you Grandma. Ah. <laughs> have you ever heard of a Reverend Sister being called Grandma before? And people would think that you have renounced your father. <laughs> well, it would be nice um, to be called Grandma. At least I have an opportunity to um, experience what other women have experienced without renouncing my vows. <laughs> 
<laughs> I am a blessed woman. You yes. are uh, mommy. You are mommy. <laughs> <laughs> So, Tafat, you took your time and took a good look at me. And all what you think I'm worth is to follow you, carry one, go to some reverend sisters in an orphanage to ask for the hand of a bastard in marriage. Eh? Demos, I did not ask you to follow me. And if you think the wise thing to do is to insult the woman that I want to marry, then you better what? watch it. Wife, is that one a woman? A woman that has no roots. A woman that has no background. Now, Michael, tell me. What if she has madness running in her family? What if she's a leper? And what if she's an osu? How are we going to know, Michael? How would we know? Uh, I have already put those questions to my son. What answer did he give you? Uh -huh. Because he cannot wake up in the morning and say, want to marry, without asking questions. Um, how some people say, Gafili, Gadoki. Huh? Michael is here. Let him answer for himself. Day. I am the one who knows this girl that I want to marry. I am the one who will also live with her when I marry her. I only came here to ask you people to accompany me as tradition demands to see her people. That's all. Her people. So all the no, 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 no small children are her people. Huh? Demos. Your daughter, eh? Got pregnant for a man she does not know. Eh? If that child she delivered wants to get married, Dapat. is he a hero that will marry her? Dapat. Will men not come to ask her hand in marriage <laughs> simply because she does not know her father? Dapat. Demos, respect yourself. Or... Eh? Respect enough. yourself. It's enough. Michael, we are not asking you not to marry the girl you want to marry. But never has it been hard that one carries one to reverend sisters for a hand of a woman in marriage. They never has it been also heard that someone came into this world and died for mankind before Jesus came. Never. I am going ahead to marry Ave Maria. Ave Maria? Is that her name? Yes, they must. <laughs> that is her name. <laughs> Dafat, if your son says that's what he wants, when you are ready, call us. Eh? Call us, we'll go with you. If not for anything, let us see what will happen. <laughs> we'll see what will happen. Ave Maria, Otito Dirijes, Hail Mary. Otito Dirijes, Hail Mary. Sisters, we are a people of tradition. So when Michael came home to tell us that uh, he'd seen a woman that we would want to marry. Uh, we decided to see her people. Uh, that's why we are here, uh, to tell you people that uh, there's something we found here that we would want to take away. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> um, this kind of thing has never happened here before, so I, I really don't know where to begin. <laughs> um, we are just uh, sisters who look after babies that no one seems to want anymore. But um, Ave Maria is our very own. <laughs> um, if I say that, you know, I am not happy by what is happening, I tell a lie. <laughs> this is Ave Maria's home. Uh, all I can say is welcome. Our doors are open and make it your home too. <laughs> thank you, sister. Uh, thank you for welcoming us and thank you for opening your doors for us. That's the reason we came here today. And that reason is the girl our son wants to marry. Uh, if it is not asking for too much, nor disobeying tradition, uh, we will want to at least see the girl to know how she looks like, at least. <laughs> well, we did, we did not invite Ave Maria here because we do not know what tradition says. 
Uh, actually, she's at work right now. Huh? Zafat? Yes. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sister. Sorry. It's just that this is the first time I'm hearing that a woman whose husband to be people came to ask for a hand in marriage, <laughs> went to work. Uh, oh, please, don't be offended. We acted in ignorance. But I can assure you that Ave Maria is a well behaved girl and beautiful too. She'll make a good wife. <laughs> um, sister. We don't have any doubt at all in our minds that she make a good wife for our son Michael. Um, but we have not seen the fish. So how do we know how it will be in the pot of soup? Huh? You can take my word for that, I assure you. Hey, Moss, we are not here to find out how the girl looks like before I can take her hand in marriage. It is not her looks that I'm getting married to, please. Listen, in my place, we know how a masquerade will perform by the way he steps into the arena. But uh, 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 let us leave this thing. Eh? We have time to ask as many questions as we need. Ah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, thank you. It's nothing serious. I just want to discuss the impending marriage. Ave Maria's marriage. Well, it's the first wedding we're going to have in the orphanage, isn't it? I wonder how we're going to receive them. I mean, our husband's people, when they come. Well, I, I'm not concerned about that, really. What concerns me is how this union will be seen by the rest of the world. Oh, mother. I'm happy that this is happening. You know, people will get to know that good things can come out of a place like this. <laughs> well spoken, my dear, well spoken. Ave Maria has become our signpost to the rest of the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, we must pray fervently about this. Remember, the Bible says that the earnest, heartfelt prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. <laughs> That is true, Mother. That was how Michael took us the other time and insulted us. How can we marry a girl we've never seen? A girl we have never seen, not even for once. Eh? What if the girl's nose is deformed? Or she has one eye? Anyway, what if the girl is suffering from apupo? Epilepsy? How would we know? Demos, I will never insult you, God forbid that. But it's the girl that your son will want to marry that will have epilepsy. Did you hear him? Did you hear what he's saying? The person we are trying to help, did you hear him? I do not need your help or anybody's help to do anything that I want to do. All I want is for you people to accompany me to ask for others' hand in marriage. Since you say you are not going, I will go straight to the registry and marry her without inviting any one of you. No, 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 no. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I blame your father. If your father has trained you the way so should be trained, you will not sit down there, open your mouth, and talk to us your elders and your brothers like that. Demos, I did not insult you. I did not insult anybody here. The same God that created you and I, that same God created Ave. If that same God has not condemned her. I see no reason why any of you here should. Uh, Michael, nobody is condemning your girl. All my brothers are insisting on here is that you do not just wake up and marry a stranger into your house. Papa, Ave is not a stranger. She is the girl that I have spent time with. The girl that I love so much. The girl that I want to spend the rest of my life with. I have said it times without number. I will keep saying it. Hence, you people don't want to understand with me. I will go ahead and do what's on my mind. Period. Hmm. Papa, if Mike wants to marry whoever he wants to marry, let him go ahead. Does really matter if the girl has any background or not. Um, they must. When you married your wife in Paya, hmm? was there anybody there to determine if she has background or not? Mm -hmm. 
Even to you today, we don't know where she comes from. Yeah, rap, you bloody fool! You mean you talk back to me? Eh? Put that in your cold mouth into your pocket, do you hear me? I said, put it in your pocket! If you open your mouth to talk to me, I'll deal with you. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, yeah, nah, 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 nah. Hey, so the truth they say is bitter. She has just told you the truth. Eh? Stop intimidating her with your age. Your wife. Do we know where she comes from? Tefat. <laughs> I don't blame you people. Okay. So that's how you want it. And you, very soon, you will marry a dang rugu. You will marry a dang rugu. Attacker. You will marry. Monkey like you, talking to me, even you. Okay. Hey, so this is a plan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no wonder, okay. <laughs> Michael here is our son. And if he says this is what he wants, we have no right to deny him what he wants. Because we all believe he's old enough to know what is good and what is bad. And if he says, he wants to marry this Ave Maria. Eh? Let him go ahead and marry Ave Maria. That is why we came. Uh -huh. eh? Uh -huh. And to make the right preparations, we will require, as tradition demands, a list of items that will come with. That's why we are here. Uh, uh, permit me to ask that you are a little clearer. Huh? I. We do not understand what you mean by this list. Hey! Hey! Ha! I don't... Ha! Hey! Ha! So they don't even understand our culture. Where is this place in front of you? Hey! 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 Abomination. Um, sisters, actually, before any marriage rite is performed, the family of the woman will present a list to the family of the man of things required. It is that list we have come for. We are a people who serve God. We are not familiar with tradition. We have never been part of any traditional marriage rites before. So I, I really hope you will not be offended if I ask that you go away and come some other time so that we can find out what to do. Hey. And what to put in this list that you ask us to prepare. Hey! I said it, David. Hey! Aro! Aro! Abomination. I am gone. I'm a gram. You see? Hey! You are still here. I am hey, gone. I am gone. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, we'll go, uh, but we shall be come back. Yes? Let's go. Let's go. Hey! Uh, mother. I'm sorry. We'll come back. Sister. Brother. anyone who knows what to do. Precisely what I am saying. We are going to let people who know nothing about us now see the way we live. Well, Mother, I think the work we do here should be commended. Oh. I don't think we have anything to hide. Oh, and that is why we should open our doors so that anyone can see the way we live. Look, I am going to see Father Ignatius about this. And whatever he says is what we're going to do. We're even thinking of giving Ave Maria to a family we don't even know anything about. What if 
the mother who abandoned her here, decides to check up on her. If Ave Maria wants to get married, that is fine. She has the right to make her own decisions. And whoever it is that is the irresponsible woman cannot just come here to look for her or stop her after all this while. I forbid you to ever speak that way about something you know nothing about. I keep telling you Ave Maria is not your daughter. You are a reverend sister, plain and simple. Now they have come back to ask for a list. That's why we're here to ask your advice. I mean, we've never conducted a marriage in the orphanage before and we have definitely never prepared a list before. Personally, I don't even know where to begin. Left to me, I would say we should have nothing to do with it. But you cannot make such a suggestion to Sister Teresa. If you ask me, I am in the same dilemma as you have found yourself in. I do not know anything about such things. I would advise you to take it to any prominent member of this church who can give you informed advice. Whatever I say here will count for nothing since I have never handled such matters before. But, Father, it is just a list of things they will bring if they come. Surely we can put that together. Uh, they said it is tradition. Do you know what tradition requires for you to put in that list? Or don't you know that you might put something in that list that may be sacrilegious and jeopardize the whole thing? If, if only she would listen, then things wouldn't be so difficult. But she has blocked her ears when it concerns Ave Maria. <laughs> Mother Superior, please calm down. Sister Teresa, Father. it is not as big a problem as you imagine. I am very sure that something good will come out of this whole process. Since she has adopted you as her family, we would like to ask you a favor. Um, the people who have asked for Ave Maria's hand in marriage have asked us to prepare a list. We've never prepared one before, so we really would appreciate it if you could put one together for us so that we can show it to them when they come back. Well, um, that won't be a problem. See, I had... Uh asked Abbe Maria already that if she needs any assistance, she should not hesitate to come. See, putting the list together won't be any problem. Oh, that is a big weight off our shoulders. <laughs> if you know the panic this listing has caused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can imagine. Well, um, when did you say they are coming back? In a week's time. Oh, that would be all right for me. Huh? Is it we have accepted uh, Abba Maria as our own daughter? Yes. And um, if and when they come, please do let us know so that we can do our utmost to assist. Mm -hmm. Thank right? you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome. Thank you very much. Oh, no, 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 no. He is the one that gives us strength mm -hmm. to help in times of need. So why won't I help? Reverend sisters, I greet you. Um, we must do what tradition demands. The last time we were here, I told you that we are the people of tradition. And tradition demands that we pay a bright price before we can say that the woman is our own. Uh, what I don't know now is uh, who we are going to pay the bright price to. Thank you, my in-law, if I can call you that. Um, as I told you the last time you were here, Ave Maria is a special child who finds a home 
everywhere she, she has gone to. Now, her bride price should rightfully be paid to Chief Odunze. He it is who has adopted her, and he it is who should rightfully receive her bride price. <laughs> Yes, um, I feel much honored. Mother Superior, for you to think me worthy to receive Ave Maria as a bright prize. Thank you very much. But um, it will amount to injustice for anybody to take Ave Maria as a bright prize from the hands of those who nurtured and they brought her up. If uh, anybody should receive a bright prize, it should be the sister from this orphanage who brought her up and took care of her. Uh, Chief, you have spoken well. But uh, our tradition does not allow a woman to receive a bright prize. For this instance, it is better for us to shelve tradition yes. so that we can forge ahead. Did you say? Yes. Let's talk about I tradition. Say something, my elders. A woman does not have to receive Ave Maria's bright prize. She was named after someone, and that person should be the one to receive her bride price. Who? Jesus. Our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> uh, I agree with you, sister. But where is Jesus so that uh, we can pay the bride price to him? You can hand it over to Mother Superior here. She knows how to get it to him. My people and my in-laws, this is not the kind of matter that a man rushes into. If we have to pay this bride price to Jesus, who none of us has seen before, no problem, no problem. But um, we have to talk about it. So I ask for your permission to confer with my people. I will get back to you. Did I not tell you that what we have come here to do is madness? Or oh, did you not hear our in-laws? If it is not madness, why would someone suggest paying bride price to Jesus? Did we say anything wrong? I don't think so, Mother. Maybe they did not understand what we meant by they are paying the bride price to Jesus. Oh. You should not have said that. Cynthia's father is there. He is the rightful person who should receive the bride price. It is his name you should have mentioned. Daddy, yes. you have to speak up for her. This whole thing is in danger of being aborted. If nobody steps forward to receive others' bride price, most people will walk away. You said you are going to help her. Now is the time to do that, Daddy. Now. Deimos, you don't understand. That was only a figure of speech. Since you people say that we cannot give the bride price to the sisters, that it must be a man we uh -huh. must give it to. So the only man they know is Jesus. Uh, keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. We know you want to marry that girl, uh, Ave Maria. But that does not mean we should turn the culture and tradition of our people upside down. Yes. No. Yes. I, the Amos, I prefer to pay my bride price to the sister, the very sisters. Rather than pay to someone I have not seen before. But mother, we agreed from the beginning that Ave has a father. 
and that he should be the one to collect the bride price, even if someone else has to collect it on his dead here on earth. Sister Teresa, Jesus is everybody's father. I know you mean well, but remember what the Bible says. Give unto God what is God's and give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. You don't understand. My parents are died here. Huh? Those who took care of her until she became the woman that she is today have said that they want the bride price paid to Jesus. So what else can I do about that? Okay, who do you want us to pay it now? Ah, no problem. Why are we quarreling? If he says it's Jesus, let him come personally and collect the bride price and collect the color knot and go and share it. Now we are going to go up there and ask that the bride price be paid to Chief Odunze. I cannot appoint myself to receive a bright prize of whom I don't even know. No. But that's not true. You know her. You can't vouch for her. You know, you know she's a good girl. If that's what it want, that doesn't go to wherever he is and shy to, to, to his uh, demon. Demons. It's obvious you're making this thing difficult. Though. All we know about her was that she was picked up from the street. We don't even know who fathered her. Do we know her mother? We don't. It doesn't matter. It does. Let Ave Maria get married today. You see, those who own her, they will start crawling out from the woodwork. And those of us who stood for her would have found ourselves into a situation that we never bargained for. I will not. Don't speak this. Calm down. Look, uh, you just don't talk about this because I cannot. I will not. Thank you very much for receiving us. I will want to make some observations. Marriage rights are not concluded in one day. Uh -huh. You have told us your mind. We have examined our own mind. Um, we want to go home and sleep over this, your suggestion that we pay the bright price to Jesus. You will agree with us that it is not something we hear every day. So we will go, uh, but uh, I promise you that we will be back. Oh God. Uh, divine, let's go.
Ave. Ave. Ave, open the door. I know you're in there. Ave, please. Locking yourself up like this will not solve this problem. I, I okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay, open the door. Ave. drop you. Ave, what is the matter? What is wrong, Ave? I have called you several times. You won't take your calls. Mike came complaining as well that he's been trying to reach and you're not, you're, you're not taking his calls. He's come here and you have refused to open the door for him. Cynthia, please. I think you should just leave me alone. What is the use of trying to talk to someone that nobody wants? Ave, don't even start this morning, Cynthia, I beg of you. Just leave me alone. Please, I beg you, leave me alone. said, if I do not see you today, I was not going to leave your office. It's my pleasure. <laughs> my pleasure as well. I hope the things you heard are good things. No, if they were not the best. <laughs> I would not have insisted on seeing you. Well, uh, let me see to office work while you two get admitted. Well, well, I hope it wouldn't be Presumptuous if I asked how I could see you again. I'm always here. You know that isn't what I meant. So, exactly what do you mean? You see, Abby, I saw the picture you took with my sister at your last end of the year party. And I told her you were the kind of girl I'd like to see over and over again. My meeting you hasn't diminished that impression. Rather it has heightened it. I I am flattered by such words. But where exactly is this leading to? Ave. You see, I would like to get to know you much better instead of just standing here and chatting with you. Then it will be better I tell you right away that that's somebody else. I've been watching things closely, I think. And I know things have not worked out with him. But if you give me a chance, <laughs> I, th I think you'll like what I have to offer. 
Well, material things don't move me. Ave. But if it is only material things that I have to offer you, I'll be insulting you. We will see. Please, you have to have for a single day. Ah, thank you, Sidon. And um, how did you look at my address? Oh, whenever I'm serious about something, I do my best to get that thing. So how are you? I'm fine. Sit down. Thank you very much. And um, what do I offer you? Princess. I think it will be the other way around. I will do the offering. Mm. How? I am taking you out, princess. <laughs> and you think there's no need to seek my opinion first? Well, I apologize for that. But I figured out you'd be at home doing nothing. And since I was at home doing nothing, I thought that uh, a few hours with you in a quiet eatery would do us a whole world of good. What do you think, Princess? <laughs> well, I guess you're right. It would do us no harm. Yeah. So let me go inside and change into something more comfortable and I will be with you. Take your time. at you, he, he was so desperate. Well, I 
wouldn't blame him considering me. Considering what? Considering the fact that you're very beautiful. I... <laughs> I didn't know you, no, Mike. Yes. We're classmates at the university. And I knew when he met you. Tell me what exactly happened to you towards you. Why didn't you smoke anything at all? I have not told you that things did not work out between Mike and I. And even if they didn't, I think it's Mike's business and I, not yours. marry you. I can't marry anybody. I just... It's a strange place we live in. I think you should wait for Mike. My spirit tells me that he's the one God has chosen as a husband for you. It might take time, but his parents will definitely come around to their senses. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I had a talk with uh, Mother Superior and she advised that you become a nun. <laughs> Mommy, I know that is what she has always wanted me to become. But I can't be wrong. Mommy, I do not have the mental strength to become a nun all the dedication it requires. <sighs> Whatever. 
you decide to become, child. I wish you the best. Life is for those who decide and who have chosen to leave it. And you can leave it in happiness with or without a man. Where did you say she went? I don't know. You know Abby. She has her way. I hope she didn't go out with your brother. And what if she did? Jennifer. If my parents had done what they are supposed to do, Ave Maria would have been my wife by now. So, I see no reason why you should encourage her into having an affair with your brother. <laughs> Point of correction, Mike. You and your parents have not done what you all are supposed to do. So nothing has been done at all. Which translates to the fact that Ave Maria happens to be a free single girl. And they are not having an affair at all. They are both involved in the relationship. go through that heartache a second time. If I tell you I understand the word of what you're saying, how do you lie? What are you talking about? Jennifer, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Step aside and let me in. Why have you been avoiding everybody at the Maria? Nothing. What is wrong with you? Nothing. So then why then have you been avoiding everyone? What do I need everybody for? If nobody can stand in for me, then I'd rather be on my own. That is a very selfish thing to say. It is. 
If it is, then tell me why your father could not stand up for me to say that you paid the bright price to him. Why did he keep quiet after he had promised to stand in as my father? Avi, his hands were tied. There was nothing he could do under the circumstances. Mother Superior and Sister Theresa had already said they should pay the bright price to Jesus. But even if he failed you, is that enough reason to turn your back on everyone who loves and cares for you? Is it? Mike is almost ending up in hospital because of the way you have been treating him. What do I do? It is never going to work out between Mike and I. So why do I keep on punishing him and myself? So is that why you have started seeing somebody else? I am not seeing anybody else. What about Damien? He asked me to marry him. Cynthia, why, why is everybody tormenting me so? He, even him knows that his parents will not agree to his marrying a girl that has no background. So what did you tell him? I told him there's someone else. But that doesn't seem to deter him. Cynthia, I, I am so scared. What is going on? Ave Maria, you're a beautiful and desirable young woman. Any man who meets you would want to keep you for himself. But you have to be very careful so you don't ruin yourself. Mike wants you. He needs you. You know how much he loves you. I can't see Mike. It's, it's, it's no use. Okay. Mike doesn't need his parents to marry you. He can do a registry wedding. And that's what he wants to do. Avi, Avi, all I'm trying to say is that I need to see your parents so that I can officially get your hand in marriage. I have not agreed to marry you. And even if I have, I do not have parents for you to meet. Then I can go to your parents, whatever. Unless you're trying to tell me you just dropped from a tree. I... I think you should stop coming here to look for me. I don't want to ever see you again. What was that you just said? I said you should stop coming here to look for me. I don't want to ever see you again. Just... Just stay away. This relationship... If it's ever existed, it's over! Just, just stay away from me! Stay away from me! So what happened the last time? I do not want to gather the woman now for such a thing to repeat itself. Papa, please. I do not need any woman now to marry my wife. 
Ave is the woman that have decided to get married to. If they don't want her, if they're not comfortable with it, they should jolly well go to hell and remain there for all I care. Shut up. I said shut up. What's the problem with you anyway? Michael, you cannot talk like that about your uncles. It is your good they want. Marriage is a lifelong thing. We do not want you to fail in anything you want to achieve. So my lady failure be on my head. If I fail, I am not going to blame anybody. I will carry it all alone. That is a kind of foolishness that should not be allowed to come out of your mouth. Papa, maybe I should make certain things clear to you. If you are not accompanying me to marry Avi, I will take her for a court wedding and I will not invite any one of you. If you also decide to disown me because that is exactly what I'm going to do, then so be it. I will also cut you people off as my parent, totally. I do not need any woman to get married to my wife. You are the ones that I need. If they say they are not comfortable with it, then they should sit on their lean backside and leave me alone. After the wedding, please help me tell them that they should not come to me for anything. They shouldn't near my house because if they do, they will see the ugly side of me. I am going. Michael! It has finally happened. They've changed their mind. Oh. Well, they said it doesn't really matter who collects Abe's uh, bride price. They said whoever the family appoints, it's okay by them. Including Jesus. Who is better to receive it? <laughs> <laughs> so what did you tell them? Well, I threatened them. I told them I was going to do a court wedding if they refused to come with me. And I will also cut them off from my life. Entirely. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> husband, behold thy wife. Mm. Wife, behold thy husband. Well, are you not sure I have changed my mind? What? If you try it, they will receive the news of your disappearance in the national daily state. And who is going to kidnap me? Who else? <laughs> <laughs> now let's go so that I can tell uh, your parents. <laughs> yeah. going out to buy things to prepare breakfast for the other children. When I opened the gates, I saw the baskets. Oh, 
by the gate when I was going to buy something from the store. There's a lady that she was She was so tiny. So cold. And so beautiful. I had kept the letter I found in the basket all this while, waiting for the right time to present it to you.
abandoned. She was thrown. 